Patton. What should Thomas do in that kind of situation? I don't know! For others is the greatest hero, so I, I, I don't know. You don't know? Earlier you suggested that all people naturally understand right and wrong. So, should Thomas die so that others may live? Yes, I, I mean, maybe, or maybe not. <laughs> what do I know? What do you think, Thomas, if it's your life, or Leslie's? By the slow wit of Heracles Patton, leave Leslie out of this one! <laughs> How is Thomas supposed to feel empathy for this person if he has no one to visualize? Is there no one else he can feel empathy for? You're right, Roman. Thomas's life or Lee and Mary Lee's? What do you say, Thomas? I don't know the right answer here. It's up to you. Get up! This isn't working. This entire conversation has become so muddled due to a constant misleading misuse of conscientious language. You'll need a sharp side to cut through all this bull. Frog. A sort of subterfuge specialist. The Lord of the Lies. I'm happy to oblige. Whoop, whoop! Reptilian Repscallion! Reptilian Repscallion! We've got a code yellow! Deceit! What have you done with Logan? Nothing at all, and I resent the question. Hold on! What are you talking about, Deceit? Who's misleading who? Patton is misleading you. Frogwash! I may be amphibian, but I can't say that I am amphibian. That's richer than Jeff Bozo's coming from the self-proclaimed Lord of the Lies. Do keep it up with the wordplay. It never gets old. He didn't mislead you on purpose, Thomas. I don't think the little guy or the big frog is capable of that sort of thing. He may have just threatened the life of Broadway's original Aaron Burr himself, but you leave our rosy-cheeked riveter alone. Patton, I'm loving this new direction that you're going with your rhetoric, sprinkling in a few maybes, who knowses, or what do you think? Why are you doing that? Because I found out that I was being too tough on Thomas and it was driving him hopping mad! So, I tried to share my thoughts in a softer way. Right, because making Thomas feel inadequate for not dying in someone else's stead isn't tough at all. Here's the thing, Patton. Pushy is pushy. That faux flexible rhetoric that you're using to soften your approach doesn't change your intentions. It just disguises them. Patton's not actually suggesting that Thomas should pursue martyrdom. Right, I don't want Thomas to croak. That's my job. We're talking about what ifs, worst case scenario kind of stuff. What I am saying is Thomas has a really good life that other people don't. You're over there talking about putting on your oxygen mask before helping another passenger, but we're not in a crashing plane. If the situation was that serious, then sure, he can focus entirely on himself. But does he deserve it? I don't know. Man, I don't know if I can believe whatever you tell me. <laughs> Treating yourself is something that you can take too far. You can take anything too far, Patton. You've taken things too far. The plane is going down. You need to give Thomas some room to breathe.